So there are several ways in which public lands can help address the climate crisis. The first is simply by reducing the amount of carbon that we put into the atmosphere by reducing the amount of drilling that we do on the public lands. The second way is by promoting the use of renewable energy in places that we all agree where renewable energy is appropriate. And the third way is by fostering the ability of forests and other vegetation to store carbon, to take carbon out of the atmosphere and store it in, in the vegetation and soils. And we can do that by managing our forests to make them more resilient to climate change and fire. We can also allow our forests to develop into old growth, which stores a disproportionate amount of carbon. And the last thing that we can do to address the climate crisis on the public lands is to manage them for adaptation to the inevitable changes that we'll experience. We can work to connect our public lands so that species can move in response to climate change, and we can manage them so that they are less susceptible to the changes that are going to be driving the future of the public lands like drought and increased fire activity. And there are a number of ways in which we can it reintroduce fire, thin our forests so that the fuel loads are reduced and are less and the forests are less susceptible.